This training video is brought to you by K Alliance. K Alliance is the 21st century's educational corporation specializing in the most comprehensive enterprise training solutions, ranging from e learning to instructor led training. Press play for success. After watching this video, be sure to become a Facebook fan to receive the latest updates, promotions, and course releases. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel to preview the latest desktop, soft skills, and IT training videos. In this lesson, we're going to talk about working with your lists, and I'm just going to give you an overview and an introduction to the different types of lists that are available within QuickBooks. If you click on the Lists menu, you'll see there's a lot of different lists in QuickBooks. Your chart of accounts is a list, the items list for the items and services that you sell. You also have you know, different things in here, fixed asset items, sales tax, price levels. You have your customer and vendor list. You have lots of different lists within QuickBooks. You're able to add things to these lists. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Chart of Accounts. So I can show you real quickly. I can click on Account. And you'll see we can add new things. And this process is the same for all of these lists. Okay, anywhere in your list, if you right click, you will see those menu options to add something new. You can go in and edit things. So right now I'm on the chart of accounts, but this is true on your customer list and your vendor list, your item list, on all of your lists, you can add new, you can edit, you can delete things if there was no activity out there. If you've got activity, it won't let you delete it. So sometimes you might need to make things inactive. When you make something inactive, it hides it off your list because if you've got history and detail out there, you can't delete it because that's part of your history. So what you might want to do is make it inactive so you don't see it anymore. That's especially important if you've been using QuickBooks for a while. Let's say you've got a lot of customers and some of the customers have gone out of business. So you might want to make it inactive so that you don't see it and it won't show up on your drop down list either. So for example, if I'm on furniture and equipment and I make it inactive, You'll notice that now it is gone from my list, but it's not really gone, it is still there. If I click on include inactive down here, now you'll see those accounts that have been marked inactive with an X in front of their name. If I were to try to use that on a transaction, it will say this is inactive. Do you wanna make it active again? Do you wanna use it just this one time? So it gives you options to where you can make it active again. Now when I right click, it says make account active. So you can make things inactive and reactivate them as well. Again, these are things that you can do on all of your lists, not just your chart of accounts. I'm just using that to demonstrate this. So in the next lesson, we're going to go through and talk to you some more in a couple of lessons about working with your chart of accounts and your customers and your vendors. But remember that the process for working with your list to add new, edit, make them inactive or delete, all of those things are the same on all of your lists.